Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. And today we've got a product review, follow-up review for some of the products I got from the Brothers Groom, all right, which is a company out of Indiana. Uh, it's been around for a few months and uh, I really relate to the, these guys. It's four guys. Uh, several of them are in, ed are in education. Um, got another one who does like leather works. Um, just really... Uh, really down to earth guys uh, enjoy what the, what they're doing. So this is a, they got some really good products too, uh, which always makes it a little bit better. Um, so they sent out, I think I was the first one to, to review the products. I love working with new companies, uh, but when they sent out their box, uh, one of the best unboxings that I ever have, one of the reasons is they, uh, they gave me this uh, leather tray. Let me grab that. So I got this leather tray embossed with beards and banjos across there. So if you're interested in getting one of those, they, they can be purchased. I had no idea I was getting that, so that was cool. The other thing that I like about uh, their unboxings is they don't you don't get stuff everywhere. There's no packing peanuts. There's no shredded uh, cardboard, any of that stuff. What do they use? Hold on. Little satchels with cedar shavings in them. Um, smells so good doesn't make a mess i love it all right so i think other companies should figure out a way to to make less mess when we do our unboxings uh, they also have uh, some kind of built-in swag because one of the owners does leather goods uh, but we got keychains we've got this uh, handy dandy little thing here it's got uh, leather on the uh, back uh, and then a little uh, comb comes out of that with the brothers groom all over it. So they really are uh, really are coming out with some good uh, swag. I need some apparel to go along with that, I think. Um, and uh, good presentation. Um, they got one of the guys that's working on the social media aspect of it. So kind of figuring all that stuff out. And I had to do the same thing with my channel. I was good with making the videos and the YouTube part, but then I had to figure out the Instagram part. That took me several months to kind of get the hang of it. Well, let's talk about their scents. Back in the, uh, I guess it was this summer. I think it was the summer. Yeah, they they sent out Feels Like Summer, which is one of my favorite uh, citrus uh, scents. Uh, and then the Canadian Outpost. And now's a good time of year to be wearing the Canadian Outpost. Um, and this one is a really, really complex uh, scent. Woodsy. And then it kind of finishes with that, uh, that kind of uh, minty, uh, vibe to it, which is the, the my favorite kind of uh, woodsy blend, so not pine inspired. They do have another woodsy one. It's called Sasquatch Country. That one's got more of the, the uh, traditional pine and that kind of stuff. Um, I prefer the Canadian Outpost. Uh, their balms are straight down the middle, medium, super smooth. <sighs> works works very well. Okay, <clears throat> so my last order. Since I got the, the first one, I decided to just like, okay, I need to support these guys. They had a Black Friday sale. Let me buy some stuff. So I did. They sent me out. I think they might have sent it. Yeah, they sent extra stuff too. They had a couple of um, Christmassy scents, uh, holiday scents. One's called Sa uh, Santa's Secret Stash, and that's his secret stash of cookies. So that's like your vanilla oatmeal cookie or vanilla sugar cookie kind of deal. So if you're interested in that, and I don't even know if they're still available. I think they are. Last time I checked, it depends on when I uh, can post this video. But uh, the prices are kind of the market average there of, I can't think it's like $15, $16 for oil or a balm, that kind of thing. But the star for me was this one that's Candy Stripes. And this one is vanilla and mint, peppermint. All right, I love peppermint scents, especially at night, but just I like peppermint scents in any way. And the peppermint scents actually in the in the back, and it's mostly vanilla with a little bit of peppermint. And that is a wonderful, wonderful scent. It reminds me of the, um, the peppermint stick candy. I think that's probably what it's supposed to be, the old fashioned red bird stick candy that's kind of chalky. Uh, they actually sent a couple of the little mints these kind of uh, kind of chalky mints that's mostly vanilla with some peppermint. That's what this is. This would be wonderful, guys, for a butter. And they've got groom butter coming in 2020. All right. So hopefully we can make that happen. They, they said they thought they could, might could work something out. So they also sent me this um, 
a little sample of their groom butter and a new scent coming out which is leather and cedar is the scent profile and i'm sure they'll come up with some cool name for it because everything else they've got has got cool names um, i'm not a huge leather fan but i i can appreciate it uh it's for me for leather it's like yeah that smells like leather i like smelling leather and then i don't want it in my beard because five minutes after i'm smelling leather for strong leather for five minutes it kind of gets to me um, but i do like cedar so that one is uh, a little sample of a scent to come and the butter this butter worked great uh, it's not whipped uh, so a little bit goes a long way you put it in it worked very very well um, similar to some other um, butters that I've used so be looking for the groom butter to come uh, and I don't know if they're gonna make it in all their scents or not I hope so and then I got another one that was interesting and this one guys could be if you take a chance and try it uh, depends on your preferences this could be uh, a signature scent for you um, and, I, and I hate to compare things but you guys know just because everybody knows the 1912 scent from the luxurious bastard the way it kind of paints a picture and this guy is really really complex um, for me the 1912 is like an old-fashioned general store where you can smell uh, smell a little bit of like wood smoke and then that kind of thing this is kind of the same, except it's a, a totally different picture. This picture is Malone's Irish Pub. So this one has got some tobacco in it. And it's got some... Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to look this up to get it right. Hold on. Well, let me read you what it's got on the website because it's... I don't know if I can pick out everything that's in it. It's kind of the whole experience thing. It says, Welcome to Malone's Irish Pub. Take a seat at the old wooden bar. Order up a whiskey and breathe in the air scented with tobacco. The dim lighting uh, and the feel of the leather, the atmosphere tells me I'm home. Uh, Malone's Irish Pub is a rousing scent, blended base notes of tobacco and leather with a splash of whiskey. Does that paint a picture? And uh, a couple years ago, I was able to go to Ireland to a pub and you get kind of the same vibe. I smell like a, a, an old wood stove in the back, so it's got a little bit of that kind of smokiness to it. And then I get the tobacco. It's like the, you know, you, the old guy comes in, he's got a pipe, uh, he's wearing his flat cap like me, uh, goes up to the bar, orders himself a drink. You can smell the, uh, the wood stove in the background. Uh, it's that complex. Now, for me, personal preference, uh, it's not my favorite scent. Uh, because it's a, it's a little bit on the smoky side and I'm not a huge fan of smokiness. I'm not a big fan of the 1912. Once again, I can appreciate it. I don't really smell any leather in it. It said something about leather. I don't get leather out of it. I get tobacco. It's complex, guys. So if you're interested in something that goes along that same vein, uh, I would definitely check out Malone's Irish Pub and let me know what you think of it. Um, it it's, it's very intriguing uh, for those guys that like that. Very manly, rich, deep, complex, smoky, uh, tobacco. All that stuff's kind of all blended in one with the Malone's Irish Pub. It's a must try, uh, in my opinion. You need to try it. In fact, you need to try uh, a lot of these scents from the Brothers Groom. So be looking for them more in 2020. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. See you on the next video.